Hello, Rift fans, and welcome back to the Rift Archive in the Plain Touched Wilds. Today, we are starting up the Part 3 quest lines in the Plain Touched Wilds. This is, of course, the last one. This will finish everything up for us, and then the Plain Touched Wilds will be done. I'll have to figure out what else I'm going to do. It's not like Rift doesn't lack for things to do, so I'm sure we'll find something. But for now, let's get to it. I humbly ask for your help. You got your egg. Great one. Did Carr happen to mention anything about the Keeper of Radiance? Not much? Oh, thank the ancestors. I mean, I'm so glad you're here. We received word that other aspects of Teth are planning on disrupting an ancient primalist ritual, a ritual that few know about, one of great importance. The message demanded to meet you, Great One, in woe, on the eve of the ceremony of the Keeper, no less. I suspect Teth and would risk no other mortal soul. Might I ask you to perform this one additional task? Your egg wants me to go find the mysterious stranger in woe. May your sure. Way be clear. I thought we were going to Ovak Shrine. Because I still have a quest from Ovak Shrine that I need to finish. But we could go to Woe. I'm flexible. Yeah, she's in a little alcove. This little alcove? Yes. There she is. I don't remember her name, but we're going to find out soon enough. I humbly ask for your help. You are the great one? I thought you would be taller. Ha oh, ha! Oh. No matter, as you can see, I am not Teth. In fact, now that we are back in Talara, I plan on breaking the Great Wheel. Did you ever meet the Dervish of the Wild, Sons Gazar? His life is in grave danger. Yes, we met Sons in part one. Ascended, you have fought the dragons and their cults across Talara, you have walked the plains, and you have fought against the Great Wheel itself here in the wilds. You are a powerful force of righteousness. But the Primalists have kept a dread secret to sustain them in their fight against Teth. Mortal sacrifice. I don't expect you to take my word for it. See for yourself. Follow the clues from Ovog. You will see that their ritual will end in the unnecessary and barbaric death of Sons Gazar. I beg you to help me save this great man. Mysterious Stranger wants you to follow the clues that lead to the sacrifice of Bring honor to your people. See, I knew we were going to Ovog. All right. So we have this quest to do, which was gather survival supplies from the helpful aspirants in Ovog Shrine. Yeah, we picked this up a long time ago. All right, and. He says, there's an ancient tradition where one can give a gift of something they have in abundance and the receiver is honor bound to give an item that they have in abundance. And it says, give these boxes to the people. So we're going to do that first and get it out of the way. Like this person right here. Here you go. Have a gift. Ah, this stupid tradition. Take this and leave me alone. Oh, that wasn't very nice. I have to take it. Oh, that's a little better. I wonder why they're not auto-looting. In trouble, I see. That's a second one. Not in trouble. I'm trying to help somebody. Here you go. Well, thanks, sir. How many did we pick up? Four. Needs. Can we give it to the same person again? Yep. Five. Six. Seven, 
eight. Wow, the random number generator isn't working real well today. Nine. Ten. All right, and then I guess we open them. I wonder what is inside. Yes, I do. Okay, now I go and give them to this person. Hear my plea ascended. Ah, you are literally a lifesaver. I can continue my training for another week with these supplies. Bring Good for you. To your people. I'm happy for you. Search Ovog for the first clue. Oh, it doesn't give me an exact location. Of course it doesn't. A few moments later... Hey, what's this? That a clue? That looks like a clue. A chest of gold with a calling card stamped with a magpie. What am I looking at here? Flag with a magpie on it. Okay. Second clue. Many, many minutes later. Oh. It is up here. Yeah. It's there. Yeah, yeah I'll yeah ha, -ha you. Strange creature not from these parts, ritually sacrificed. I don't even know what that is, but sure. That took entirely too long. And now I gotta find another one. Oh. I love the Plain Touch Wilds. I love them so much. Usakel was wrapped in cloth similar to this for her funeral. This? Is that what it was? Yes, that would be what it was. Okay, search for the... How many clues are there? Exactly is that? I have no idea what that is. Gotta love rift. Hey, this looks like an artifact. Please don't be like a poison artifact. Thank you. I'm fairly certain this clue is in this big temple. Problem is I don't remember where. A mask. Where do you see a mask? Is that the mask? That's something to pick up. Cad blue eye mask. It was like so unbelievably tiny. <sighs> I 
didn't even see that. Use the mask to find the ritual site. Sure. What am I looking at? Architects on a spiky thing? It's a little disturbing. Am I going to see more stuff like that? Apparently I am. I guess you follow the architects and their spiky thing. That one has a wolf on it. <laughs> Um, I lost my spiky thing. Okay, so I see that spiky thing. spiky things. I guess no more of them spawn. Oh well. Yep. Look, there's some architects. If I go to you, are you going to spawn another one? Sounds of chanting are coming from the north. But that way isn't north. <laughs> That's northeast. Yeah. Steel ritual clothing. I remember this. Okay, and now I look like a bomby. Sneak into the ritual area. All right. Excuse me. Coming through. Excuse me. Pardon me. Yeah, I think you go around the back. And there's sons. I haven't triggered it. You. I'm pretty much sure I'm on this dot. Maybe I have to go a little another way. I'm on the dot. Stop Zal from completing the sacrifice. Okay, how do I do that? I missed that. That probably was there a while ago. How do I do that? Oh, I have a thing! I can kick Zal. What? Stop. What do you think you're doing? And there's a box. Put sons in a box. <laughs> Escape the ceremony with sons in a box. Yeah, this is going to go slow. Because I'm moving slow and I can't mount. So I have to go the way I came. It's just going to be very, very slow. Nothing to see here, folks. I'm 
just a regular old bomby with a big box. Now we c you are blocked from mounting. And I have to kill something. Are you surprised to see me, Great One? I was the one about to sacrifice this lamb to your subvert Teth, and I was the one that hired you. It's not safe here, but I know somewhere that is. Here, I'll mark your map. Okay. Talk to Zal in the hideout of the Veil of Attunement. I am still blocked from mounting. I take off my disguise. And mount? Yes, I can. Oh my. Really? Okay, Zal, what's up? What is wrong? Yes, I was a part of this barbaric ritual. I was to be the next keeper. I would have had to sacrifice sons and take his wealth of radiant karma to keep it from Teth. But now that we are back in Talara, now you, the Ascended, are here. The cycle is broken. The demon was defeated the moment we returned to the world. We're free, and there is no need to sacrifice another of our own to the Great Wheel. Thank you for your assistance, but now I'm afraid to admit Sons and I are fugitives and will need your help again. We should get him out of that crate. You think? It can't be good for him to be trapped in there after that conk on the head you gave him. But it will be all right. He'll be relieved he doesn't have to give up his life for no reason. Then we just need to find a way to get him out of the wilds. But one step at a time, right, Ascended? Sal wants me to gather items that will allow her and sons to hide from Teth and the Alkalites of Will. Okay. Weird, isn't it? Weird, isn't it? Why, yes, it is weird. I put this poor man in a crate. You have doomed the wilds. Well, there is some... Th thanks for saving your life. I was not on the wheel for me to be saved. I was to die to help save the wilds. But that is all over. The wheel has been broken. We're back in Talara. No, you foolish girl. Whether we are in Talara or we are in the plains, Teth comes for the radiance of the Bami. You were an acolyte of Ovog. You should have known this. You should have been taught properly. So, you're the anointed keeper, and I risked everything to save your life. But if you ever call me a foolish girl again, I will blast you into the ground and melt the bock that wears your corpse. This is what I'm talking about. You were taught much about the fury and cunning of primalism, but you have learned nothing. The wheel has not broken. We're just caught in its grasp here on Talara. But you may have broken our radiance if one of Teth's minions finds us here. Ancestors drool, you're an arrogant one. Though he's not wrong about the need to hide. Great one, I need your help once more. I know a ward of cloistering. It should prevent my fellow alkalites from finding us. But I will need my ritual supplies. I hid them in court behind a loose stone on a crumbling wall. We should retrieve it and I will hide us from prying eyes. Okay, are we done? 
We gotta go to court. Okay. Let's go to court. One eternity later. There it is. My goodness. Probably walked by it 50 million times. Complete cloister ritual. What exactly is that? Oh my. As I say, that's not going to work. What? Go away, pig. The incense. The crystal. Water. Fire. I guess I'm doing it. Okay. We have caused quite a stir. There were mystics looking for the three of us. Don't think we can trust the Alkalites of Ovog anymore. You never could. They were going to kill you. I was sacrificing myself to save the wilds. We may be hiding for quite a while. We need to start hunting. I left my Cadgax spear back in Jad. But they know me there. You'll just run if we leave you alone. Then accompany me. Okay, let's go to Jad. Where the heck is Jad? Oh, mm, yay. Mm, fantastic. I don't quite know if that was bugged. If that didn't seem to work the way that I thought it would. But that's okay. I don't think we went here with uh, Karanuskel, so there might be some quests I need to pick up. Me around the corner. See, recover son's hunting kit. Return to the Vale hideout. Oh, you are riding my last nerve today, game. Why can't I leave the tent? There is a quest to pick up. Hear my plea, Potty break. Oh boy. Just the person I was hoping to find. I found this animal skull and a piece of pottery a few moments ago. It may not look like much, but this is actually a listening device created by the Bach. If these have been hidden inside pots around the city, there is no telling what information the Bach might be able to gather. Go and find as many as you can. Break the pots if you have to, but find them. 
Best of luck. Sure, but I need to go back to the Vale of Attunement or whatever, so we will do our potty break later. Turn to the Vale Hide. Return to the Vale Hideout. And Codlu with Sons and Saul. Okay, I can do that. All right. Plead for a pardon with Ureg and Shalcorva. Ah, uh, where's your egg? Oh, he's on the throne. Is he seriously sitting there with Sevshi? Great one, you do us honor. What brings you to Shalkorva? Car has not been seen from since he left Uzakel's funeral. Or are you here to offer your assistance with our current crisis? I'm not sure we can accept. It is a private matter that you would not understand. I know why the Great One is here. Yeah, that's Sevshi. Beloved, how do you know? Oh, they're a thing? Ew. I have a death curse. Ancestor's Wind. How many times do I have to tell you? Breaks my heart every time you say it. The Great One has that same look Kar had when he killed Zoramog the Tyrant. Carr thought he was doing everyone this great favor and they would all thank him for being this great guy. Instead, he ruined my life. And how did he ruin your life? I have a death curse. The Great One obviously helped that Alkalite free that guy she was supposed to murder. Now they're all sorry and apologetic once they learned that their actions will doom us all. Hasps. We all have a death curse. Is this true, Great One? You bet your bottom dollar. Wait, don't answer that. Oops, too late. I can see it in your eyes. Seb, she is very perceptive. Thank you. Boy, they're awful chatty. You are here to ask for sanctuary for sons. It cannot be. This tradition has kept the wild safe from Teth for centuries. Despite what my brother-in-law may think, the wheel is not broken. Not yet. We must keep what radiances we possess free from Teth. If you bring sons to Shalkorva, he will surely die. Better by our hand than the adversaries. Sorry about his death, Kurtz. It's terrible. I should know. Don't forget you, Shevshi. Are you done talking? Deliver the news to Sons and Zal. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. What a coward. He's not a coward. No, your egg is wise. This would have been the right decision. But I fear that since the ceremony was ruined, one of Teth's minions has infiltrated Ovog. So you won't run away? Not until I know it's safe. To kill yourself. Precisely. Oh good, now they're gone. Just where I thought I was going in the first place. I listen to the beasts within the rifts. Ascended, I know that Sal means well, but by disrupting the ceremony, she has put the wilds in great danger. Powerful primal magic was placed upon me when I became keeper. It prevented that demon Teth from finding me, but now I was supposed to be dead. Is the radiance of our people that I have been hiding exposed. If Teth kills me, then the wilds is doomed. I need your help ascended. I need your protection until I can find my proper death. Thanks for watching, folks. See you soon.